I have been wearing this Smart G-Shock for the last one week, even though I am not a smartwatch fan. There were definitely some things that could use improvement with this watch, but also some things that I loved. But were they enough to win me over and convert me into a smartwatch fan? Let's find out. By the way, this week you guys get to decide between three new watches for our next Watch of the Week, so stick around to the end. <laughs> Let's start with the pros. What did I like about this watch? Well, for a start, this watch is very comfy. The strap is nice and supple, and it is nowhere near as noticeable that I'm wearing it as with our last watch of the week, which as you'll notice, we have recently put this cool blue strap on. Check out the short video if you missed that one. The overall shape and design of this watch looks really futuristic. In fact, even the buckle shape greatly reminds me of a Tesla Cybertruck. One of our viewers, Giga Chad, nicknamed this watch the Cyber Square. The main menu of this G-Shock is a lot more substantial than I'm used to, with multiple scrollable pages of different options, which are very intuitive to navigate. A shout out to Roni, who let me know in the comments of our unboxing video how to change the default display. By pressing the top left button, we have various different view options, my favourite of which is this one here with the daily step counter. And this step counter is by far my favourite feature of this watch. Now check this out. Today is Wednesday the 14th, and as you can see, we are halfway to our step goal. And that's because I've only had one of my two walks today, but every other day throughout the last week, with the exception of Saturday where I was unwell, I went for enough walks to reach my step goal. But the main motivation I had to keep my step count up every day was accountability. I didn't want you to think I was a lazy fat ass. Uh, I'm just a big toasty cinnamon bun. I never want to leave this bed. Ram the like button if you're enjoying the video. <laughs> and now we'll talk about my last favourite feature of this watch, the vibration alarm. It's one of the most uncommon, underutilized and underappreciated features of all G-Shocks and it's the reason that I chose my first ever G-Shock, the GD350. I'm so pleased to see Vibration Alarm making a comeback. And speaking of which, one of our GOAT Crew channel members, Brian, posted this question about the strength of the vibration for both the alarm and for notifications. Well, Brian, I'm pleased to report that the vibration was implemented really well by Casio, and I found that as an alarm in the morning, it was more than enough to wake me up. And in terms of notifications, it just provides one single pulse of vibration, and it is also more than enough to let you know that something has come through. Here's a demonstration for you. Maybe you need to wake up before your partner and don't wish to disturb them. Or perhaps you're in a public setting and want to be reminded of something without causing a disturbance. Imagine as this goes off on your wrist. That's it for the pros, now for the cons. These are the things that I don't like about the GBD 200. First of all, the colour scheme is nowhere near as vibrant as it shows in the stock photos. I was really looking forward to this transparent part being really green, but unfortunately it just looks kind of black. In fact, one of our viewers, AJ, has this exact same colourway and didn't even notice that his wasn't all black until he watched our unboxing video. Second of all, I found that this G-Shock doesn't handle sand very well, even as a fitness watch. I found that since I got back from beach volleyball, the light button now does not press properly, even after washing it, and also the straps are now rather creaky. And I know you can't tell right now because I've given it a nice polish up for the video, but this screen lens gets very dirty very quickly. Now a very common feature of a typical G-Shock is the countdown timer, and for whatever reason, this watch does not have one. It does, however, have the workout mode, which does function similarly, but not quite the same. 
So this mode is really optimized only for people who want to do a workout. So I've got a two and a half minute here and then a five minute here. And the way it works is after one timer goes off, the next one starts. But unfortunately, if I wanted to adjust the time as I did when I was cooking a steak, I wanted to drop this down from two and a half minutes down to two. Now I could scroll this all the way up to zero, but what you'd expect with a G-Shock is that when you hold down the button, it'll keep scrolling, but not on this one, which means you'd actually have to press this 30 times, which is a bit annoying. And I even tried to go back the other way by pressing the down option. And unfortunately, when you hold this one down, it just exits you out completely and uh, you lose all your progress of your adjustment. Now this next feature really got me excited at first because I discovered that if you press this button, you straight away get into the timer. And it reminded me of the GD350 where you've got that one button press and boom, your timer's started. So I was very hopeful. What unfortunately I found with this one is that when you start it, um, it's actually very laggy, okay? So let's say you've pressed that by mistake. Let's say we want to delete it because we don't want to save that. Hit delete. Now I'm not going to fast forward this. Look at how long we have to wait just for it to zero it back out. It's just uh, an absolute waste of time and pretty unacceptable in my opinion. Takes way too long. Now for the main feature of this smartwatch, notifications. Here's an example notification I got from the Goat Reviews Discord channel, linked in the description if you want to join us, while I was working on recording my last video, the AliExpress Gadgets unboxing, which you can check out here if you missed it. As you can see, there's only two lines of text, but there's no room to see any content at a glance. Even though there was heaps of screen real estate, only a small amount was used to show the notification, but it would have made a lot more sense to actually show the content of that notification with more of the screen being utilized. Unfortunately, the notifications did not meet my expectations of being able to lift my wrist and quickly check what's going on. And I would much rather simply pick up my phone and take a look on there. So did this watch manage to convert me into a smart watch user? Unfortunately, the answer is no, it didn't. Yes, this technically is a smart watch. However, to make use of all of the smart watch features, it is nowhere near as convenient as other smart watches like let's say an Apple watch. Now, don't get me wrong, I am still gonna continue to use this watch as a fitness tracker and I'll probably be wearing it to my volleyball games every now and then. However, I am not gonna be using the notification feature as that was just not worth the hassle in my opinion. But overall, it is a solid fitness watch that motivated me to keep moving throughout the week. But of course, everyone's needs are different. And if this watch checks the boxes for you and you wanna get your hands on one for a great price, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. Now it's time for the Watch of the Week community poll where you decide what I wear for the next one week. On the left, we have two Casio watches, the F200 and the F201. And on the right, we have a Skme watch, which is an affordable brand from AliExpress attempting to imitate G-Shock. Thank you to our user, JMech, who had this idea to include an AliExpress watch. To cast your vote, head over to my Goat Reviews YouTube profile, click on the community tab, and you'll be able to vote in our community poll. Make sure you are a subscriber with notifications on so you don't miss it when we open up the winner. What did you think of the GBD200 and how do you think it could be improved? Let us know below. Here's a link to our Watch of the Week playlist as well as a related video. A big thank you to our GOAT, Brian and the other GOAT crew channel members for supporting the channel. Click this button if you'd like to join us or check out the benefits. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.